Hey guys, Mabel Tell here. Welcome back to Rants and Draws, the series where I rant about warrior cats and, well, draw. Today we're talking about the recently revealed cover and blurb for the Super Edition, Leopard Star's Honor. We're drawing Bright Sky, Leopard Star's mother, because I think she's neat. Before I get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. I remember many months ago making a quick animation to urge people to vote for Leopard Star to get the next Super Edition. So I was obviously very happy to see a cover come out for this book. Speaking of the cover, I shockingly don't hate it. I've been reading Warriors for a long time now, so I've always had a soft spot for the old covers. And I'm typically pretty critical of the new art direction. That said, something about this cover just hits different. The eyes are really pretty, and the fur actually looks similar to how I picture Leopard Star, which isn't something I say often with Warrior Cat's official art. I still prefer the old style, generally, but I think this particular cover is quite well done. Let's move on to the blurb. I'll read it out for you guys now. How far will one warrior go for the power to protect her clan? Since her kithood, Leopardfur has believed that one day she would save Riverland from destruction. A belief based on a prophetic dream her father once had before he became a medicine cat. Under Crooked Star's leadership, she is proud to become first a strong warrior, and then deputy, fighting furiously to protect Riverclan's territory from the encroachment of their enemies. But when the rise of Tiger Star shatters all semblance of peace among the clans, Leopard Star, now leader, comes to make a decision that she fears will be unforgivable. Determined to fulfill her destiny and lead Riverclan to greatness, Leopard Fur must finally find the balance between maintaining peace among the clans and protecting her own. So we all know Leopard Star's story for the most part. We've pretty much seen her whole life through Crooked Star's promise and the first few arcs. But that honestly doesn't make me any less excited to read her story from her own perspective. And based on the blurb, it sounds like they're introducing a couple of new ideas. I've always really liked Leopard Star as a character, and as a leader. I think she isn't perfect, like some of the leaders, but also isn't unredeemable like others. I just find her complicated, which makes her interesting and stand out. Everyone in the fandom has an opinion on her, good or bad, and I think that says a lot. Back to the blo- It sounds like the story will focus on when Tiger Star merged Rover Clan and Shadow Clan into Tiger Clan and all the choices and mistakes that Leopard Star made leading up to and during that period. No surprise there? That's a vital piece of Leopard Star's story, and the reason she can be so controversial. I've personally never liked the idea of Leopard Star doing all this because she was in love with Tiger Star or something, as I feel it discredits her character a bit, and I much prefer her motive being trying to do what she thought was best for Riverfan. So it'll be interesting to see what directions the authors pick, now that they really have to face why Leopard Star did what she did. We also got to see a bit of this from Feathertail's POV in A Shadow River Clan, which framed Leopard Star as a bit of a villain, until the end, because of Feathertail's thoughts on her leader. So it'll be interesting to see a bit of the opposite in this book. As always, I'm looking forward to revisiting all the cats of this era. The idea of seeing cats like Blue Star, Crooked Star, Willow Breeze, Brambleberry, and so many more makes me incredibly happy. Maybe even my fave obscure character Sunfish will get another line of dialogue. I won't be holding my breath on that one though. I'm also just super excited because this feels like a return to my favorite type of super edition. Seeing a leader from the early arcs rise to power, like in Blue Star's Prophecy, Crooked Star's Promise, and Tall Star's Revenge for example. I hope we see Leopard Star's story from kithood to death, like in many of these older super editions. And based on the blurb, that doesn't sound too unreasonable. Anyways, that's always one of my favorite parts, seeing these great leaders grow and change over the moons. Okay, all that said, 
I'm still a little disappointed to see the focus once again on RiverClan in the past, while present-day RiverClan continues to fall into obscurity. All the RiverClan content we've gotten recently has been from this small chunk of time. Like A Shadow in RiverClan, Mothwing Secret, and now this book. Don't get me wrong, I love this era, and all the cats who live in it. But I love it because we haven't seen anything of present-day RiverClan. There's just nothing to compare it to. I would adore a book devoted to a new cat taking charge of today's RiverClan. After Misty Star and Reed Whisker hopefully get killed off. As Misty Star has been leader for far too long, and is turning into a bit of a trash character. And I don't think anyone is clamoring for Reed Star. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I want to meet the new River Clan. I want the characters in it to be explored and developed. I desperately want to care about them. Is that really so much to ask? They've done it for pretty much all the other clans. If the next arc doesn't give us a River Clan, and honestly, a Wind Clan protagonist, I will riot. Thanks for watching. Feels like it's been a minute since I've complained about the lack of Rubber Clan rep, so that was fun. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next Thursday.